Greetings and welcome to RPG Engine. Today we're going to talk about lazy motion nodes. Lazy motion is a way to assign a node to control an object or an entity that otherwise you can't assign running or any movement to, such as little Skolzy here. So since he's not an entity, I can't click on him and tell him to move anywhere. However, I can bring in little lazy motion node that you can find in effects and also shows up near the top of all if everything is enabled. Just click on it and bring it in, much like all the other nodes that look like this, it is invisible to players. If you think it is too big for its purposes, you can always shrink it down, just keep its scale even. And then you can just stick it right in front of what you want to control. Pull down the shift control, hover over the master object, and you can see that's the skull because everything else lights up green. And there you go, it's assigned red. It is now attached to the skull, so anywhere the node goes, skull follows. Now it has two sliders down here. One is movement, and the other is rotation. And basically these both tell it how fast to try to keep up with your mouse movement. So if you put rotation all the way up, they're a little twitchy. But they will snap around like nobody's business. But you notice it doesn't quite keep up with the mouse immediately. It kind of drags behind. And that's because motion isn't turned up as much. So with movement turned all the way up, and rotation turned down, you move him, you'll notice that he stays immediately with the arrow, but he doesn't snap around with rotation turned down. Usually you'll want a happy medium, turn them up just a little bit, see how they react. Somewhere about a third of the way on both of them is not bad. And now they will follow your mouse. They won't feel quite as janky for most things. The turn motion isn't too bad, as long as you're not flipping your mouse around really quickly. It'll do a pretty decent job of keeping up with stuff. And now you can have little Skolzy follow you around the map without having to bring up these controls and sliding him around, which looks very strange. They slide on little axes like this. This makes it look a little more natural and it's a little easier to get something into position where you want it. And for those of you who don't know, an easy way to control something that has these nodes attached since they're invisible in play mode. When you're in play mode, just hold down the space bar and that puts you into build mode, as long as you have space bar held. So you can hold space bar, drag something where you want it, and release, you're right back into play mode. But the other question is how you make things move through the air. Now if that's the case, then there's a simple solution to that. I could have done it with Skolzy, but he doesn't have wings. So instead, we're going to do this to the robot pterodactyl. General premises are the same. Still want one of these nodes. In this instance, we're going to assign control of that master node that controls all of, of this flying robot. And now you can move it up in the air. Fortunately, you don't have to have these master control nodes anymore. You can lock items and it'll select them as a whole. But that is an older robot, so he still has the master control node underneath him for me to select. Twitch these back into position. And now it'll also fly above the ground. But if you want him higher, you can just adjust his height. And back down to skim the ground, wherever you need it. And there you have your lazy nodes. Have fun, make lots of things, share them on the workshop.